No, I don't waste no time Video. Now for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George, digital marketer, online coach and actually when looking at the statistics of my YouTube channel, I realised that my day in the life that I filmed like two years back has 20,000 views. So I thought, why not just create another day in the life video? I haven't done a vlog in I don't know how long, it's been ages. So. For today, I'm just gonna bring you guys along with me, you know, on my day, see what we get up to. First thing we have in about 15 minutes is a coaching call with one of the lifestyle design coaching students. So um, I'll document a bit of that and then I'll just bring you guys along with me on my day. It's almost 10 a.m. now, Saturday morning, in terms of the morning routine. Um, got up around, I think it was half past seven. Got my hair cut, so I'm feeling clean again and today we're just working from home home office as you can see here which is in my bedroom and one of the biggest benefits of working from home is the fact that i can just wear jogging bottoms and slippers all day long and in terms of waking up early which is something i get a lot of questions about as well i have this uh, wake up light and um, basically what you can do is you can set a time um i think it's on 6 a.m let me quickly check um there we go, oh, so 6.30 is when I want to wake up. So what I do is, um, like, so I set the alarm at 6.30 and then what happens is from six o'clock onwards, it basically emulates uh, sunshine. Let me see if it's possible to show you guys. So it starts slowly, um, you know, like brighten up and the like the closer it gets to half past six, which is the time I want to wake up, the brighter it gets. So it basically emulates and simulates um, like sunrise and it just makes it easier to get up because if your whole room is lit up, it's easier to wake up than when the whole room is in darkness. All right, so I've just quickly done a, like, I don't know, video check uh, with my webcam, and it's so dark in this room, obviously, because it is still January. Um, you know, it's even though it's 10 a.m., I've got all the lights on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my ring light, which basically is like a big white light, and just place it there so that when I do have the coaching calls, I'm, I'm you know, well lit up, and it's not like the person who gets the coaching is just looking at a, a dark webcam screen. Wait on it. Everybody watching while the clock still ticking. I'ma make a move, I don't need no rhythm. I'ma make a move, I don't need no rhythm. I ain't never on the scene. West side blowing up some color greens. Got a nigga for There we go. That is much better. Uh, you guys probably can't see it, but um, it's much lighter now. This um what you want think want um yeah, I think that 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 email marketing what best is. Of any fun need need direct sales via Facebook, and then krijg je wel weer gezeik. What's going on guys? So that is the coaching call done. Um, good call actually. It's one of them where it doesn't feel like it's an hour of coaching. It's just basically brainstorming and discussing new ways of how he can basically, you know, uh, skill his agency. It's going quite well. He's a very ambitious guy and, um, you know, he's, he's set goals or we've both set goals for him for the next um, month. And he's actually, you know, he's on his way to actually reach his goals. Um, which is great to hear and uh, yeah I just can't wait to see how far he gets with all this good stuff um, I have got another call in a minute with uh, Colin from Dice University and then I'm going to head to the gym Guys, right, so I'm back from the gym again and I've actually had a few hours of deep work and I completely forgot that I was actually filming a day in the life today um, so like I said it's it's half past three right now um, I've had about three hours of work done just been catching up on some bits and um, like I said realized that I'm still doing the vlog so uh, here we are again in terms of the deep work it might be good to show you guys um, obviously you know it's very very difficult to actually get work done when your phone's next to you um, and you know obviously a lot of people do like the, the airplane mode and do not disturb and stuff like that what I actually use is uh, let me just quickly show you guys is an app called Forest so there we go so the app here is Forest and basically what I use 
uh, this for is to stop myself from going on my phone so uh, obviously you know I do put it on on do not disturb let me just quickly do that so do not disturb but other than that um, I just use this and what it basically does it's uh, it plants a like sort of virtual tree you can set a timer so I usually do increments of 25 minutes and then take a break like sort of the Pomodoro technique um, and then basically if you set the timer for let's just do for example 10 minutes uh, you set the timer and then as you can see here it says you've turned on deep focus mode leaving the tr uh, the app kills the tree and basically what it does let me quickly cancel uh, okay so we, f we can't cancel so we can't actually use the phone now for 10 minutes uh, but basically if I give up um, you know it'll basically kill the tree and there's like a um, like, like a sort of board where you can see all the trees that you've planted, but you also see the dead trees as well. So it's sort of like, a, um, it's like a game almost, but it prevents you from actually going on your phone. So now I will not touch my phone for the next 10 minutes, um, which does, you know, it's totally for me. I'm, you know, basically getting worked on it anyway. And then after the 10 minutes are up, I'll show you uh, another app that I actually use for my morning routine, which was also in those apps. It's called Sleep Cycle. And there we go, so it is 10 minutes later, our tree has grown. And let me see if I can get the, is it timeline? Um, no, not timeline. Let's see, how do I get the board up? Is this it? Plant mode, deep focus mode, plant together. Okay, well, scratch the board anyway, but uh, another app that I wanted to show you guys is Sleep Cycle, which is an app I use to track my sleep. So as you can see, uh, obviously because it is weekend, I set my alarm for 10 to 8, don't touch me on that. Um, and as you can see here, this is the journal of uh, my sleep. So I've got 88% sleep quality. I was asleep after 33 minutes um, and I went to bed half past 11, got up at 10 to 8, 6,000 steps, um, which sounds a bit weird, but it's basically steps that you take in your sleep, which basically means how much you move. Obviously, the deeper you sleep, the less you move. So the more I move, the, the less deep my sleep is, I guess. Um, I woke up. Every time you wake up, you can add a sleep note. Uh, if you slept okay, uh, woke up okay, etc. But I just like, I think it's a cool way of keeping track of everything, seeing my sleep quality. Um, as you can see, um, I didn't track these two nights. I'm trying to track it every single week. Um, there you go in terms of the months as you can see i've used it for a while uh best sleep that i had was around december around october i was really suffering with my sleep regularity uh, times that i went to bed times that i woke up time in bed time i'm asleep etc etc i was even snoring mid november which uh, is not like me either uh, but it's just good to keep track of all these things because what gets uh tracked and you know managed um or what gets met what, what is the quote? What what gets measured gets managed. I think that's it anyway. So I yeah, completely butchered that quote, but hope you got the point. Um, I'm gonna get some more work done and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Yeah, to be fair, they, they look like, obviously the, the quotes are very generic and what I probably would do if we are gonna go uh, forward with these is I would probably just write my own copy um, just to give it that personal touch. Um, but other than that, like, I do like the content. Um, I do like the way, like the sort of the quote jumps out and we can basically recycle um, everything that I've already got on my Instagram. So, you know, it's obviously a way to just get push more content out there and, um, you know, hopefully the algorithm will pick it up as well. All right, guys, so I just had a meeting with the design team um, in terms of, like, what kind of content I should be posting on Instagram uh, because, like I said, I am struggling with posting on Instagram and Instagram stories, etc. I don't want to really do Instagram stories anymore. Um, I just sort of like lost the motivation to do it and I want to focus more on YouTube But if I don't post on Instagram stories, there will be no content on my Instagram whatsoever And it is a big part of my personal brand and platform that I do leverage a lot in terms of the coaching business And it's also social proof for um, any potential social media marketing clients that come in So without the stories, I obviously will be needing to post a little bit more on um, let me just quickly switch off my phone. Uh, yeah, I want to focus a little bit more on the news feed. So we've come up with a few uh, like ways to basically recycle the content that I've already got. Um, so basically, we'll have like a generic quote uh, that has basically motivation, um, mindset, uh, business, you know, anything to do with that. 
um, as you can see. So, but as I mentioned in the call, um, it is quite nearly dropped the camera. It is quite generic. So what I would probably do is um, write my own copy and captions just to give it that personal touch because obviously um, stuff like this is you know you, you see this all a thousand times a day on Instagram. So plan for now is to film um, basically two YouTube videos. One of the videos will be on this channel, which is a watch me build video. If I'm not mistaken, I need to check my content calendar. Um, got the content team to basically write out an entire calendar of topics that I can film YouTube videos on as well. Um, watch me build a Facebook ad campaign video, I think. So I'll be recording that now, and then I'm also going to record a, um, basically I'm just documenting what I'm doing with affiliate marketing for my other channel. Uh, for those of you that have no idea what I'm talking about, basically, uh, you know, as a sort of New Year's resolution, I set myself the goal of creating another income stream, which will be affiliate marketing. And um, what I'm, literally what I'm doing is, sorry guys, business as always, what I'm doing is uh, just documenting the journey, seeing what I do, uh, you know, showing you guys what I'm doing, and it's good to look back on to see if I'm doing anything wrong, or it's always good to look back on if I actually do manage it. The goal for it is to earn $100 um, dollars or euros, whatever, um, a day consistently and passively with affiliate marketing. For that, I'm using ClickBank, and if you want to follow that journey along, or follow along with that journey, then it will be linked in the description box down below. Okay guys, and welcome to a new video. So as I already mentioned in the introduction, today we're going to be setting up a different uh, Facebook campaign. So the first Facebook campaign for those of you that are just tuning in now was basically like a sort of lead capture campaign. Uh, we ran traffic on Facebook and you know we ran um, you know, optimized landing page views we ran that to a ClickFunnels landing page where we basically captured the emails, which we then uh, you know set up to basically send to Aweber, and then Aweber basically sends them you know email blasts with the ClickBank office. Okay, so that is what we set up, and uh, what I want to do now is set up a similar campaign but with a different product, and also want to try out a different type of landing page. What's going on, guys? So that was a 53-minute watch me build video on uh, Facebook. Ads. We basically set up, uh, we have another call here, quickly answer it. Mr. Dice. Hoi man. Yes. yes. What's up? Uh, om die comments te kunnen zien, omdat ik geen twee schermen heb met mijn laptop. Ja. Yeah. Maar toen zag ik jouw ding langskomen. Oh guys, what a day. Okay, so that was like proper YouTube-ception, where I was basically filming myself, filming a YouTube video for a different channel. But that's all done now. I'm going to upload one more YouTube video, um, like upload the video, so not film it, onto that other channel. I'm going to edit another video for this channel and see if I can also film one more video for this channel. Like I said, I've got a content calendar, so it sounds like a lot of work, but literally all I need to do is film the the you know the topic of the title that I've already got so that is all good and it's now half past five Saturday night no plans for tonight which means I'll probably just continue working um, hopefully I can get at least another hour of outreach for the agency done um, so basically I'm also now doing outreach uh, for the agency we've got uh, Elliot who's working full-time he's also on outreach he doesn't work for weekends and then we've also got um danielle who is our assistant virtual assistant who is also doing outreach but she does all like the freelancer websites so i'm just going to do manual outreach on facebook and on google and uh, see if there's any potential clients that i can contact and get in touch with um, and the great thing of this because all three of us are doing our outreach we're getting in so many leads and so many potential clients you know scheduling meetings with us etc so um i've noticed that by doing this full time and you know, spending at least one hour a day, all three of us, so that's three hours a day on outreach, the pipeline is constantly full and it's just a much better feeling than trying to scramble and try and find with you know the next client. So uh, that is why you know I'm also you know back to the outreach. Whereas you know a while back I didn't used to do it as much. I used to you know outsource it, but now um, it feels good to actually you know work in the business. You know even though I always say work on the business, not in the business. Work in the business just to basically push that cart forward and you know try and reach that next level. So anyway, guys, I am going to wrap up this video for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you liked the sort of day in the life. Um, every day is different, so you know this isn't like the regular day. Normally, I do work much more on the agency, and obviously, you know during the week I am in the office. Um, 
our own offers where we you know, still do media buying, etc. But obviously more agency focused because it's the weekend. A lot of the businesses that we do the media buying for are closed for the weekend. So that gives me the freedom to basically do more personal brand and stuff like the YouTube content and stuff like that. So anyway, guys, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.